Okay, today's video is back to swathing. Here we have the John Deere 2360 swather and it worked on a field of canola. Actually, this was my last field. I believe it was the 20th of August. This field was uh, not the greatest crop. Uh, it was better than expected this year, considering it had very little rainfall to help the crop grow. I'm cutting here with the 21 foot header. You can see I'm running a little wide on the corners, trying to keep it rounded off. Pulling the roller, as usual, trying to roll the swath down tight into the stubble to resist being blown away by the wind. It worked pretty well. This field had uh, next to no wind damage when I finally came to harvest it approximately a month later. This was an evening shot. Uh, video was done with a Phantom, a DJI Phantom drone. It's pretty nice quality video. You can see by the color of the crop it was mostly good and ready for cutting. There was very little, if any, shelling on the reel at the time. Yet, when I harvested it, the green content was uh, well within the limits for uh, the top grades of canola. So, I guess I hit it right, got lucky again. You can see in the upper left there the remains of the lake that used to be farmland, cultivated acres. It's receded quite a bit this summer with no rain to keep building it up. Moving right along here, coming to the west end of the field, that's road allowance in there between the trees. It's seen very little use the past year. Since the road was underwater to the south and nobody could really pass through, currently it's back in service. The water's gone down. So, uh, a day or two later, I'm not sure exactly what the date was, I'm going to say 22nd or so of August, I was swathing this field of oats on the same section. In this overhead view, you can get a good idea of uh, how it lays two 21-foot swaths side by side. This was not a heavy crop of oats, a little on the short side, it yielded fairly well, but uh, it was uh, a little short on straw, so uh, I would have had to travel pretty fast to keep the combine cylinder or rotor full on a single swath, so uh, putting a double swath through meant I would have enough material coming in to keep the speed down to a manageable level where the pickup could actually pick up all or at least most of the swath whereas traveling along at five or six miles an hour I would have missed a lot of it. Anyway, stay tuned for the uh, harvesting section of the video.